Welcome back to the series. Uh, we have completed uh, our first React component in the previous episode. Um, in this episode, we will see how to change the default port. So we know when we start the React application in development environment, uh, it actually starts on the port 3000. So what if, if you have to run multiple applications on your local machine? So it is very difficult, I mean, you cannot run on the same port. You cannot run on both applications on the same port. You have to run on multiple uh, ports. So, so you need to, uh, at that time, you have to change uh, your port. Let's see, in this episode, we are going to see how to change the default behavior uh, of React application. So let's get started. So basically, when you run the application, the application runs on port 3000. So let's start the application. Um, yes, application actually runs on the port 3000 here. Now let's go back. And re in React scripts, we have a option um, called, you can specify port in the React scripts start command. So let's see port equal to 3010. Three um, so let's restart the application now. Remember, if you change anything in the package.json, you have to restart the application. Now it restarted. Now this port 3000 is not working. So let's change the port to 310, 30, sorry, 3010. Yes, uh, now the application is running on 3010. Okay, I'm using Mac, so this option works fine on Mac, but this, the same thing doesn't work on Windows. So for that, we need to have a uh, dependency. So here i already included this link in the description uh, so cross environment so cross env makes it easy for you to run your scripts on any environment it doesn't matter whether it is windows or mac so let's copy this install command and let's hit the here and let's run this command here uh, so we have installed cross environment so you can see uh, thus uh, this library is added in the dev dependencies since we Remember, we are running this application in development environment. That's why you need to add this to the dev dependencies, not the actual dependencies. So we don't use this in the production environment. So let's change, let's add this to the start script and let's change the port to 3020 and let's start the application again. Now we have started the application and let's see. Now the port 3010 is not working. So let's change the port to 3020. Now it's working. The application is running on 3020. Now we have used cross environment and also we have seen how to use port with React scripts. Uh, let's see if there, are, if there is any other option available. So um, if we are using React scripts higher than one, there is another option called .env. So there is a .env library and this .env library comes, I mean, it's, it's already comes with React scripts if we are using um, React scripts version 1.1. So since we are using five, I think all we need to do is create a file called .env and put the port here. So I'm just adding the port here, which is 3040. And all you need to do is add the port here and go back to package.json and we are not using cross environment or port uh, with react scripts anymore let's start the application and let's see whether it works or not yep it's working so now the port 3020 is not working so 3040 is working that means dot env works here so if you, you can you can put any port Let's change the port to from 3040 to 3050 and let's restart the application. So the application runs on 3050 now. Okay, so we have seen two options. Let's see what happens when we use these two options together. So let's add cross env port 3050 and let's restart the application. Now the application runs on port 3050. Since 
both options using port 3050 let's change the port 3060 okay so now the application should run on port 3060 because uh, whatever the option uh, this whatever the option that you give in the package.json takes the precedence so dot env because whatever the port that is given in the package.json with react scripts will overwrites the port is uh, port in the dot env file now we have seen how to change the default port while running the react application in development environment so one option is using port with react scripts and another option is using environment file with dot env remember you don't have to use or install dot env library because react scripts so sorry dot env comes with react scripts and also if you are using mac or mission uh, or windows if you do not want to worry about which mission you are running um, you are running your um, react application so you need to install package called cross env thank you for watching please